select a bud, cut it off of the cyan stick. And I have two buds across from each other, so I have to pick one of them and sacrifice the other. And I'm going to pick this one. So I make a sloping cut above and facing the bud. Turn it around. <coughs> make a sloping cut below and facing the bud at the other end. So it looks like that from the front. I'm going to make one sloping cut above and facing that bud. So it looks like that. Turn it around without touching any cut surfaces and make another sloping cut below and facing the bud. On the rootstock, make two parallel cuts through the bark down to the wood. They need to be a little bit longer than the Scion. And about the same distance apart as the width of the scion. <clears throat> and then two connecting cuts, connecting the two parallel cuts. Pull the lower flap down, the upper flap up, and then go back to the cyan bud. On the back side of the cyan, opposite the selected bud, shave through the wood, or through the bark, down to the wood, just until the wood is exposed, which exposes the cambium layer. So it should look like that on the back side. And it should like the, look like that from the front. <coughs> and this scion is now ready to insert onto the rootstock. So again, pull the lower flap down, insert the lower end of the scion, pull the other, upper flap up, <coughs> and Okay, see how the back side of this scion is slightly concave? Yep. Okay. And then this side of the rootstock is slightly convex. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the graft on this side of the rootstock so that the <coughs> concave back of the sign will match the concave side of the rootstock. We can see the concave cutting is fixing, fixing in perfectly to the convex rootstock. Nicely sizing up where to make the parallel cuts. I'm making the halfway cut, the horizontal cut. Getting ready to flip it out. <laughs> 
Yep, I'm just getting good at it. Keep it up. And I'll do my back cut. Hmm. Well, you should try and avoid touching the cut surfaces. Yeah, like that. Okay. Is that deep enough? Um, yeah, it, it should look like this. Okay, so a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, that sh that should do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. It's always good when it can hold itself in place with just the flaps. And now here comes the, are we calling it budding tape or buddy tape or? Uh, I'm not sure what to call it now. But people can buy it at Central Landscaping. No. No. A.M. Leonard? A.M. Leonard. Oh, nice stretch there. And so it, it's okay for it to be open right here, like it won't dry out in this um, corner. Yeah, you should probably try and try and make make another wrap. Um, just to tuck it in here. Yeah, just try to fill in those gaps. Because the air can dry it out. It? It's not every day is gonna be like today. It's hundred percent humidity. I can go right over the bud with this, but with a really large bud that sticks out like that, I like to have it sticking out if possible. Then <coughs> you need to remove the leaves from this just at the base, leaf base, like cut it off right, right there. Hold on. Yeah. You can just cut the whole thing off above here. But, but then go all the way down and remove, leave the petioles on, but remove the leaf. Okay. Now you need to select a bud. So you want the largest, plumpest, most mature looking bud you can find. These are all flower buds, so they're not going to work. So the, the first leaf bud is right here, but this one is bigger. Mm -hmm. So this is probably the, your best bud. Okay, let me try to focus. Whoa, hold it still. This is probably the best bud to use. Oh, Jesus. And tell me when you're focused. I think I'm focused. Okay. okay. The best bud right here. Okay. So go ahead and cut it off with the pruners above and below the bud. And you can discard the rest, just keep the bud you've selected. <coughs> and the rest is just like regular barn door grafting, except you leave this petiole sticking out instead of trying to wrap right over it. Oh, okay. Okay, action. Like 
like that. And it's just that easy.